Brandon Jewett is a commercial pilot who in his spare time flies his Douglas DC-3, a propeller-driven plane that was used to transport troops during World War II. <laughs> this is like driving a motorhome. The cockpit is appropriately retro. So this is our main instrument panel here. But here is our whiskey compass, front and center, if you will. Whiskey compass, named for the alcohol that once lubricated these devices. Navigation has come a long way since the days of American aviator Charles Lindbergh. Where am I? I could be anywhere from Iceland to the coast of Africa. Runway 10. But in this high tech GPS driven age, the compass remains an indispensable tool for pilots. And to this day, is one of the original required basic instrument that every single airplane must have. Most compasses use Earth's magnetic field to tell us which way is north. The problem is the North Magnetic Pole has always had a hard time staying in one place. In fact, it was moving at the rate of 10 to 15 kilometers per year from the Canadian Arctic towards Siberia. Then in the 1990s, it started going four times as fast. I find it spectacular that, you know, the, the speed um, some increased that, that much in such a short period of time. Arno Shulia, a research scientist with the University of Colorado Boulder, says the move was likely caused by the flow of liquid iron deep inside Earth's core. And these motions generate most of the Earth's magnetic field, and they are also responsible for um, variability of this magnetic field. Gradually, the Siberian Sprint, as it's been called, has made the navigational maps used by airlines and ships out of date. Where it becomes critical for a pilot is if you were trying to navigate with an old chart, you would have inaccurate information. In February, scientists released an emergency update to the world magnetic model that aids global navigation. And over time, airports have had to rename runways that were named for their magnetic heading. They've all had to renumber the runways because it's changed that much. The polar drift has even led to speculation that a weakening magnetic field might lead the north and south magnetic poles to flip spots, which last happened 780,000 years ago. No signs of that just yet. I don't think there is any reason for particular concern. Jewett has updated his compass, an instrument pilots this won't do without. Direction. There's endless aviation stories of how the compass saved their life. You know, help, help them find where they were going. As for where the North Pole is going, it's anyone's guess. Hendrix Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.